I used to be, uh, I was Pac-Man Jones' bodyguard. Yeah. And he'd say, you know that $80,000 he took to the strip club? That we, that he won that gambling. I won a million dollars. He'd say you won that gambling. I won a million. That day? A million. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you came to Dallas, man, it was an exciting time, man. Um, you, I met a guy that knew you, right? I don't, I, this it happened in 2010. And I'm walking through the airport, and I see DJ Quick. And I'm like, Quick, man, what's up, baby? So me and Quick, we kicking it. And his bodyguard and us, we walk into our flights together. And his bodyguard say, I used to be, uh, I was Pac-Man Jones' bodyguard. Yeah. And he say, you know that eighty thousand dollars he took to the strip club? That we that he won that gambling. I won a million dollars. He say you won that gambling. I won a million. That day? A million. What you talking about? <laughs> he say he won he Nigga, I won a million dollars. Like the whole story is I was at the poem at the Michael Jordan port. Michael Jordan was trying to sign me to do the shoes and shit. He was gambling, wouldn't let nobody gamble. I won a million dollars, just put it like that. And then I took Bro, they took me back to this, uh, uh, what the fuck are we staying in? The Caesars Hotel. I mean, like 10 Brink trucks. Like, it's like 10 trucks. You get what I'm saying? I had so much money, bro. Now, remind you, I got like 20 rooms. Me, my mama, other little I was fucking with. It's probably like 10 bitches that had room. I don't mean like that. 20, 10 women, it edited that part. 10 women that had room. And then my cousin and everybody who was with us. But it was so much money. Like, I'm like, oh, mom. God. <laughs> I wake my mama. I'm like, mom. She looked at me like, where you get all this from? I said, where well, I was getting one. And I was lit. She's like, well, all right. So I'm putting, I'm putting it in each one of these safes and putting my own code on it so they don't touch it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course. <laughs> You gotta do that. They got to go to 10 rooms. You probably put a hundred in this room, 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 a hundred in this room. And then I took the 80. I'm like, shit, it. we're going to go have a good time. And I don't, I, I'm not going to speak on them with Vegas, you know what I mean? Because that's got, that's got too much, too, too many feelings and too much shit going with it. But I'll tell you this, I went wrong. I, I put it like that. Uh, whatever, have them, have them. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Damn. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Man, you, you always, when you make a decision, you stick with it, that, it no matter what. Oh, yeah. That's I'm just who, who you are. I'm 100. Wow. I'm 100. And God's been good to me. Um, I try to treat the people around me and who I f with, like, you know what I mean, to the utmost respect. But I'm on demon time, bro. Like, I really think, like, Treat them motherfucker how you want to be treated. And yeah, that, yeah, that ain't hard. You know what I mean? No, it's not. And during this time, like, with the generation that's going on right now, everybody's trying to make a highlight. When I say highlight, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Niggas want to niggas wanna be seen. Or, oh, yeah, I got a body. Uh, oh, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Like, that shit is not what's cracking. And... At the end of the day, like, I'm a ball player, really. But I'm an artist, too. So I got to stay in between everything. I got to ask you, uh, uh, I, I called him earlier today because I got a call from somebody that told me Shaq was in Texas, right now in Dallas. Shaq yeah. is here? He, Let's call yeah, him. Yeah, he in, Rock, call in Rockwall. Yeah. They told here? me he was in yeah. Rockwall. Well, he should answer my call. Yeah, he, he, it, I, then I called today. I said, I said Shaq is here. I say, do you know Shaq is my, one of like my best? Yeah, friends? I heard you say it. That's what made me think. I said they must be together. Then I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, it's in Rockwall. I said, what? So, he gonna answer if he here, so. <laughs> Nigga don't answer. We gonna we gonna be his ass. All right, put this on camera. Shaq, answer your phone. <laughs> he might not know you in Dallas. No, he know. He know you in Dallas. That's why Money Mark called me. Now that I think about Cause it. Because I'm telling you, somebody yeah, called right me now. today. I got a call. So, my dude, Money Mark, called me. I'm like, damn, he called me on a Thursday. He does, he does everything for sure. That's funny you just said. I didn't know that. I'm telling you, just, you I, I got a look, call today. Look, look, look at my phone. He's been calling look, you. Look
Yeah, he definitely. Uh, I got he's the call. Here. Yeah, he's I here. I got the call, Mike. And the Mark called me at like two thirty this morning. I just ran. Never ran this I was like, man, because they, they were right up the street earlier. Yeah, Rockwell right right there. He know where it's at. He been here. See, uh, I'm gonna talk to him a little bit more about them Cowboys. I gotta mm-hmm. hear about his seasons here. Cowboys. Like when I was here, <laughs> you was I here. Know. You was. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. I know that was a part of. Uh, that was a different time for you, wasn't it? Um. He called me at. Shit, I just called him a mistake. He called me at. Uh, Twelve seventeen. I was telling you, cause that's I got the call. I was at the car lot. I was at. I was at the. It was Cowboy around that Cow. time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but you, why was the Cowboys a, a, such a difficult time? You think it wasn't a difficult time. It wasn't. Like shout out Jerry. Jerry World is unbelievable. Like I hear the stories. Um, I love Jerry Jones. Like to the death of me. You hear me? Like everybody say Dion say the same thing. This is what I'm telling you, man. Ain't no, ain't no owner like Jerry, bro. And I ain't just saying that because I'm in Dallas. If you go back and watch what I've been talking about, about everybody else, like, Jerry have been, like, like I don't even know how to put it out in words. Like, if I needed something right now, I don't know which owner I can call. Like, and like just say I was fucked up. First motherfucker call is Jerry John. Because mm. guess what? Cause he gonna be there for you. He gonna be there for me. That's my lifeline. Like, um, I'm, I'm more than what's the word? Um, I'm more than um, happy or uh, happy is not the word. I'm uh, more. Um, I can't think of the word, but like, everybody need a nigga that I mean a nigga. <laughs> everybody need a person that. If you got the ability to fall back on, like, it's okay. And Jerry Jones have been that for me. Wow. Like, all right, That's nigga, you go spend your whole back. Guess what? You got a lifeline. And you only got five lifelines. <laughs> but <laughs> At you, least got you got a lifeline. It. Right. And, you know, young, growing up, you don't understand what they saying until they really say it. You get what I'm saying? Um, but Jerry Jones, like I, I can't even. Nothing against Bud Adams and the Adams family. Nothing against the Browns and the Browns family, but nobody have done, as far as owners, what Jerry Jones done for me. Wow. So, and I'm talking about when I was playing football, and now when I ain't playing football. Um. He's one of the people that I talk to, shit, constantly. Um, he's owner of two of my businesses right now. <laughs> like, so um, I'm just I'm more than thankful for what he done done for me and my family. Like, I ain't talking about no contract shit because that contract shit won shit. I made way more money after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My last deal was three for forty. So that shit I got paid in Dallas wasn't nothing. But I'm talking about as far as a relationship as a person, um, it's by far the best relationship I've ever had um, in an owner. Like, Mr. Brown is right there, too. But nobody like Jerry. Wow. Nobody. Wow. People don't understand relationships worth more than money. Yeah. You so say your net worth is your what? Yeah, it's your network. Your, your, yeah. what, what, huh? your network you, is your network. All right, come on, talk to me now. Yeah, man, you talk to me. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.